Hey, how you doing? Uh, you may have seen a couple of days ago that I actually mentioned that I had uh, Tony Robbins' company reach out to me about being on one of their stages at one of their events. And I was very excited about it. So excited that you saw me post it on Facebook and all of my socials about, hey, I'm going to be on Tony Robbins. And at the moment, just to give you an update, they're just working out what dates, what location, and to which one of the Tony Robbins events that I'm actually going to be speaking at. But I want to tell you about something that got me more excited than that and why this is a kind of coming home uh, and, and quite a, uh, um, and hopefully not end of a circle, but, you know, the end of a chapter. You see, what a lot of people don't know, unless you read my book, was that back in the 90s, the early 90s, I was jumping from job to job to job to try and find something that I felt that I could do, that I was lucrative at, that I would grow at. And as you know, I bounced between so many different jobs. As I was doing that, there was a guy that uh, was one of the managers at a company that I was working with at the time. I didn't last long with them. And he said to me, he said, hey, what are you, what are you doing tomorrow? Literally, it was tomorrow. And I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm just back at work. And he's like, well, I'm going to this event. And it's going to be, you know, motivating and inspirational. You know, I've got a spare ticket. One of my buddies can't come. Do you want to come? So... I equated two things. One, because he was the manager I got out working for the day. And two, I got to increase my relationship with this manager. So I asked nothing about the event whatsoever. Now, you can see where I'm going on this because the following day when I got picked up, I got taken to Wembley to Tony Robbins. And it was the time of Awaken the Giant Within and Unleash the Power. And it was that period... It was the first time I'd ever, A, gone to a motivational event, and B, ever heard of who the bloody hell this Tony Robbins guy was. So I turned up, and again, key factors, didn't have to go to work for the day, got to increase my relationship with the manager, and that's not what happened. I got the Tony Robbins rocket come down, and I was like, what the hell is this? Now, if you have told me about it before the event, of what you're going to learn and how it's going to be, and there'll be a lot of jumping up and down and clapping, I'll go, no way am I doing that. But I did. I went along, and I just sponged it. And this has been the first introduction to that mindset, that mentality. And again, for anyone that's read the book, you'll realize that on my way home, we actually drove past the company that this manager was the manager of, and we drove past and actually put my resignation slip through the letterbox that, that night on the way home. And then I came home, sat down on the edge of the bed with Claire, and I went, hey, i got to tell you what I've just done, what I've just experienced, and what I've gone through. And we talked all the way through the night, and the following day we planned our perfect day, sitting on a couch in our little shitty house just outside of London, and that was the beginning of my story. Now, I've never been to a Tony Robbins event since then. I hold him in high regard for actually being the instigator to actually get me to do something. And so when you actually fast forward this and you suddenly realize that this man, the man that instigated, ignited, aggravated me to go out and actually do something more, that contacted me to speak on that stage. Now you can see why this is such a coming home moment. I have gone full circle, spoken at some of the greatest events, some of the greatest places in the planet. But to get Big T to actually contact me and want me to be on his stage, that's why it means so much to me. So if you see me being a little bit excited, if you see me kind of hopping around like a little kid at a Justin Bieber concert, you now know why. I've gone full, full circle from being in the crowd to being on the stage. That's why I'm so excited and so happy. I don't know what the date is. As soon as I do, I'm obviously going to let you know. And if you want to come along, I don't know if it's going to be one of the business masteries. I don't know. I don't know anything other than that looking through different dates. But I will let you know where and when. And I just want you to be excited about life. I want you to be curious and I want you to be excited. Because if you're not excited about the shit you get up to, why are you doing it? I'm excited and I'm going to let you know about it. All the best. Peace out. Bye.